The video's not working again. Hello? Hi, house guests. Can you see me? Can you hear me? I don't know why we're having so many tech issues lately, but please just let me know if you can see me. <laughs> Is anyone out there? You don't see it? It might take a second. I feel like it takes a second to kick in. Can you? Okay, you can see me. Okay, good. We're good. We're doing this. Hey, house guests. <laughs> Welcome to today's Big Brother Canada 12 Digital Daily Recap. Our house guests of the day are Connor Bourne and John Preeb. Thank you both so much for the support. We cannot do this without you, and we appreciate it so, so much. So thank you again. And if you guys want to be house guests today, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Maybe if we get enough patrons, we can figure out our tech issues. And maybe not. Uh, another great way to support our channel is Super Chats. And I want to thank yesterday's Super Chatters because you're all amazing. Lady Die, K Digs 2, my husband Sean, and Benjamin. Thank you all so much for your Super Chats. Hello, hello, hello. I know everybody's excited this week because um, this house is a mess. So we have a lot to talk about. <coughs> yeah. When we left off yesterday... We saw that Vivek succumbed to the all-star mist. Uh, Kayla used the power of veto on Bailey. And then Anthony, Spicy V, and friends convinced Vivek to nominate his one true ally, Dennis, as a replacement nominee. Which means we've got Dennis versus Elijah up on the block. And this is, yes, the same Dennis who used the POV just last week to save Vivek. So we saw uh, Dennis was shocked and pissed. He was saying he's going to burn down the house. Hell yeah. Uh, and he was asking Vivek, like, why? Why did you do this? And Vivek's reasoning was basically, everybody told me they wanted you out. So this move would get the least amount of blood on my hands. Everyone's going to be happy with me. No one's going to go after me moving forward because I'm doing what they're wanting. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, but they're going to throw you in the garbage. And that's basically what Dennis told him. Like, you might be good for a week or two, but when they don't need you anymore, you're out of here. Uh, uh, yeah, I would have to agree. Yes. Hashtag skin is revenge. Of course. Um, so let's talk about today's digital daily. It was marked as March 25th. Was it actually March 25th? No. <laughs> maybe part of it part of it so it starts with vivik still crying post pov ceremony so i guess this is like sunday afternoon and vivik is just like oh, that was disgusting i feel like an effing a-hole i mean it was pretty gross it was pretty bad i have to agree uh and he's saying like it really broke my heart to do that to dennis and it's just, it kills me when the HOH needs, like, all this comforting after they, like, betray their own friend. Like, he's the one that just got put up on the block. Sir, you're the one who did this. Stop it. Um, but Anthony is comforting him this time. He's like, I have your back. Vivek says, I did this for us. Meaning the new BS Alliance of Vivek, Anthony, Spicy V, and Kayla. This is the four that was meeting before the POV ceremony. And planning out what was going to happen here, you had Kayla, Spicy, and Anthony really pushing for Dennis to be the replacement nom and the target this week. Uh, so Vivek thinks that he's working with them now, but like this is not real on their end. Maybe for him, but not for the rest of the group. So Vivek is telling Anthony, I just want peace and quiet and stability next week. I've had it so hard so far this season. Let's not forget, he was completely safe week one, right? Because he was in Anthony's entourage. He was 100% safe. I don't want to hear how it's been so hard for you this whole entire time. You've created a lot of these problems for yourself. But anyway, um, he says, I am locked in with our new team. I can't do this again. I can't put up someone who is close to me again like that. So I will not turn on our group. Okay. Well, they're going to turn on you. <laughs> so then uh, Kayla pulls Dennis aside to chat and Kayla says, I want you to know my only intention with using this POV was to take Bailey off the block because I wasn't a hundred percent sure that we had the votes to keep her safe. So I just wanted to ensure her safety. Uh, I told Vivek have a plan B ready because I was going to use the veto. And then when he told me 
what he was going to do, that he was going to put you up. It was already too late for me to change things up. I had already promised Bailey that I was going to use the veto on her. So here we are. Um, lies. <laughs> we, we know that that's not really the truth here. Did she want to save Bailey? Yes, of course. She really did. But in saving Bailey, she also wanted to make sure that Vivek was going to be putting up somebody that her and her whole group wanted out, right? And that person was Dennis, because let's be real, Dennis is one of the few people that would have the guts to target Anthony. And Anthony knows this, and that is why he was pushing so hard for Dennis to be their placement nominee. So um, yeah, she's lying like, oh my God, it was too late. Like I couldn't change my mind, blah, blah, blah. She was in on the plan to get him up on the block. Um, she was like, I didn't even think this was going to be an option. Yeah, right? Because it doesn't make sense that he would put up his closest ally, but he did. So Dennis says, well, I'm just really confused because I thought we were all working towards the same goal, aka taking out Anthony, right? That was kind of like this unspoken thing. Dennis had a thing where he like would never say I'm targeting Anthony, but he would make it obvious to people like that's what he was talking about. Um, so he's like, I just don't get why we're here now. Right. I thought we were all going to work on taking out Anthony. So Kayla's like, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry for putting you at risk like this. Like I, I obviously played a part in this by using the veto. So Dennis is like, no, I respect it. Like you're coming to me. Like that takes a lot. But he says now no one is going to have the strength to make the move against Anthony. He's going to win this whole thing. Right. Who's going to be able to beat him? Uh, he says even Spicy V won't go against Anthony <coughs> because, as she said to multiple people, she's afraid that if she makes a move against him, all the alumni are going to be pissed at her and blah, blah, blah. That's annoying. Um, but anyway, Dennis tells Kayla, I am asking you for your vote because I am the only one, basically, who would go after Anthony at this point. I'm not working with the guys. Vivek is clearly with the guys, and you're going to need me to go up against all of them. Um, so Dennis is saying he wants to chat with all of his potential votes together in one big group. He doesn't want to have to do this one-on-one -on -one thing a million times. Um but he's like, I'm going to wait until tomorrow to do the chat because I need to process my feelings. I need to get it together. Um, I think he's going to come up with a pretty compelling argument. I mean, he shouldn't even be on the block in the first place. But he also says, sorry, I said I was going to burn down the house. Like, I'm not really going to do that. He does say later to a few other people, um, I'm not going to burn down the house, but I am going to burn down Vivek's game. Like, I'm coming for him. Wow. So then Dennis was making the rounds. He checked in with Avery. That conversation, I didn't take notes on because it was whatever. But let's talk a little bit about his combo with Bailey. Um, so Dennis, again, is telling Bailey it just doesn't make sense. And he says no one is going to trust Vivek now except for those three guys, Anthony, Matt, and Tola, right? He thinks he's with them. Dennis doesn't realize that Vivek thinks he's in another alliance too <laughs> with Kayla, Spicy, and Anthony. But he's got the, the main idea here. Like, no one's going to trust Vivek. Look, look what he just did to his best friend. So Dennis says, it makes more sense to keep me now more than ever. Um, and he's saying, if I stay, there are at least two people that I will be gunning for. And he's talking about Vivek and Anthony, right? So Bailey's like, I feel like I might know kind of maybe why this is happening. And she explains that when Donna was campaigning to stay last week, uh, Donna had this conversation with Anthony where she basically like spilled her guts, talked about all her alliances that she was in. And she had told Anthony that Dennis was her number one, which I don't think that's true. I think she was also trying to create distance between herself and Bailey at that time. But anyway, she was saying that Dennis was her number one and that Dennis was targeting Anthony, which we know is true. Uh, <coughs> so Bailey's thinking like, I think this might be why I was in trouble this week. You know, I was on the block and now you're on the block because of what Donna was saying, which I mean, it was definitely confirmation of what Anthony was already thinking. But again, like this was already happening before Donna said that stuff. Dennis was already becoming a target. So 
Anyway, Dennis is really disappointed that Donna did that. He's kind of pissed, honestly. He's kind of regretting that he voted for her to stay. No, let her explain first. Um, but he says, Anthony is probably expecting me to spill everything to him too, right? He thinks I'm going to pull a Donna. And Dennis says, I'm not going to do it. I will keep my cards close to my chest. And again, I heard him say multiple times in today's daily how much he is like dreading having to talk one-on-one -on -one with Anthony because Anthony is going to like pontificate and basically like lecture him. And honestly, yes, it's going to be exhausting. I just, I can see it already. Um, yeah. So Bailey is saying, I really like you, but I'm nervous that if I vote to keep you, I'm going to lose Anthony's trust again. You know, I worked really hard to regain that trust. Who cares? He's got to go. Why are you bowing down to this dude? It does not make sense. But Dennis is like, I want you to know this. You're not going to win with Anthony here. And Bailey's like, no, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I have to think about everything. Just know that you have support right now. Okay, so Dennis then checks in with Todd, and he's really hoping that Todd and the girls will vote to keep him. Everybody that was planning on voting for Bailey, he's hoping they will vote for him to stay, and then they can work together to take everyone else out. I would love to see the girls, Dennis and Todd, all working together. Is that actually going to happen? I don't know, but it would be a lot of fun. Um, so Dennis is telling Todd, I'll be a shield in front of everyone. It's going to be awesome. And he asks Todd, do I have your vote, you son of a gun? <laughs> Todd says yes, because Todd is ready to party. Todd is not messing around here. So Dennis says, if I stay and I win HOH, I'm targeting Vivek. Uh, and he already has a speech planned for Vivek. Not Anthony first, though? I'm curious if... He really is going to target Vivek first because I think that's kind of an emotional move. I think if he gets the opportunity, he should go for Anthony, right? Maybe you can strike some sort of a deal with Vivek. Would Vivek really be that much of a dick to then turn around and target Dennis again? <laughs> I don't know. That would be a lot. But um, I feel like you got to go for Anthony first. And it also could be maybe Dennis doesn't want to say that he would go for Anthony first because obviously that's what got him in this situation in the first place. I don't know, <coughs> but we'll see what happens. Um, so then Spicy V is up next with Dennis and Spicy just kills me because she asks Dennis, can I ask you what happened between you and Vivek? The audacity. <laughs> audacity okay uh yeah you know what happened you and anthony misted vivek and made him do this insane but dennis says i'm pretty sure somebody got into vivek's head and twisted my words yeah that's pretty much what happened um spicy says i just think vivek so badly wants to be in with the boys yes uh dennis says that vivek likes being groomed yeah, I mean, we already saw a little bit when he was working with Dennis. Basically, Dennis was like his father figure in the house. And now, like, he's daddy's son to Anthony. Like, he wants to be Anthony's mentee. Like, ugh. oh, no. Um, but I can totally see what he's saying. So Dennis tells Spicy, I have supported the girls. I have a proven track record here. I voted for Donna to stay. Uh, I've been campaigning for Bailey to stay, you know, when she was on the block this week. And Dennis points out, hey, if you notice, like the people that are getting evicted, Janine, Donna, now potentially me, we're all the ones that threw Anthony's name out there. Yes, that is a very clear pattern here. And anybody who doesn't want to acknowledge that is kidding themselves. But um, Dennis says, I'm going to be targeting Vivek now. And again, I don't know if that's actually true or if that's just what he's saying at this point. But uh, Dennis does say, you know, I don't want to talk ill of goose he's a great guy but he says unlike goose i have competition wins i've already won two vetoes i come with resources right i'm not just like sitting there doing nothing <laughs> um yeah so i think you know dennis is a very powerful ally to have he is a strong competitor he's got good assets with him whatever so then um spicy avery bailey and kayla are chatting in the car <laughs> and this is where things get a little interesting. Um, Spicy's like, all right, ladies, I do not want us to be going back and forth again on the vote this week. It was exhausting last week with Donna. 
but she's like, is there any chance, you know, she's going to be back and forth. It's just how she is. So she asks, is there any chance that any of you want to keep Dennis this week? And everyone, of course, at first is like, no, 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 no. I'm like, no, because if a guy wins HOH next week and Dennis is here, they're still going to target us, not Dennis. Is that true or no? I don't think that's right. But anyway, Bailey says, <clears throat> but if I was a viewer watching the show, <laughs> if we do keep Dennis, it could be seven versus four, right? The seven being the girls, uh, Dennis and Todd. And then on the other side, you have Anthony, Matt, Tola, and Vivek. However, Bailey's like, if we do that, that would mean that we lose Anthony. And I don't want to have to go against Anthony again. <laughs> Stop being so loyal to Anthony. He does not give a crap about you. So Spicy says, well, Anthony's going to win this game. Ooh, okay. She's talking bad about Anthony right now. Okay. She says no one is going to put him up. And Avery's like, well, not no one. Avery is claiming that she would put up Anthony at some point when the time comes. I'm going to have to call bullshit on that. Because we know that Avery is just basically like, um, all stars, I'll do anything you want. Just tell me. Just say the word. So I, I don't trust that she would go against Anthony like that. But she's saying she would. Um, also, another factor here. They're not sure if Lexus is still with them. And I mean, it's pretty telling that they're having like this girls meeting in the car and Lexus is not in the car with them. And I know that they're, I, I'm sure this is, even if this is a four seater, there's gotta be more room in the car. Like she could hang out in the trunk or something. I feel like you could get three in the back seat. I don't know. But <laughs> what I'm saying is she could have been there and she wasn't. Um, she keeps getting closer and closer to Matt. They are not getting reassurance from her. They're not getting information from her. And Spicy says, I'm going to let you guys know, Matt told me that he and Lexus talk game all the time. Meanwhile, she's telling us that they don't talk game. Also, Anthony told me that Lexus tells Matt everything. Ooh! So Spicy's like, I am sick of that shit. She actually says, like, I'm sick of that shit. Um, yeah, I mean, we've seen her bring this up almost every digital daily this past week. And Spicy says uh, Alexis is giving Matt information because he's not giving her what she wants. And she's not used to that. Like he's not kissing her or whatever. So she's trying to give him info to pull him in. I think that's pretty spot on. Honestly, I think that's a pretty good uh, critique of what's happening here. But anyway, they're talking about how they want to split up Matt and Lexis. They feel like if Matt goes, Lexis will come back to them. I mean, I think to a certain degree, yes, but I also think that maybe she would just latch on to a different guy because she seems to want, like, a guy, like, to feel secure in the game. She needs a guy, like, backing her, you know what I mean? So I think she would probably float back to Anthony, honestly, but uh, not in a romantic way, just game, game sense. Um, but they agree. They're not going to tell Anthony that they want Matt out. We'll see. I'm pretty sure Spicy is going to tell him. Um, they also talk about how Vivek is the most untrustworthy person in this house. I mean, look what he just did to Dennis, who was supposed to be his closest ally. Dennis just used the veto on him. Um, and Spicy's like, I know we're all down on Vivek right now, but she feels like they have to have his back for like a week. <laughs> you know, just throw him at least a week. And then after that, who cares? See, he's going to be safe for like a week or two. And then doesn't matter anymore. doesn't matter that he like made this move for the house. No. Um, yeah. So then they go back to talking about Anthony again and spicy says, this is how Anthony operates and moves through this game. He scares people to the point that they want to work with him. And then they build trust with him. And then they get to a point where they feel like they can't put him up on the block. Ooh, I think that's a pretty good description and Spicy would know better than anyone else, right? So again, Avery is like, I'm not afraid to put Anthony up. I'm not afraid of anything in this game, anything or anyone. I'll do it. I just don't believe it. <laughs> but Spicy says, all right, well, if you win HOH, you need to target Anthony. And Avery's like, well, I mean, like next week or down the line or what? Avery is already backing off saying like, okay, I wouldn't want to do it next week per se. But like, if I won again 
in a few weeks, then yeah, I would totally do it. Oh, wow. Um, then Kayla saying, you know what? I really just hate that Dougie is like sitting here, sitting back while we're just scrambling all the time, right? We're having to do all this work and he's just like sitting back and watching it all happen. Yes, that is exactly what's happening. <coughs> so Spice is like, you know what? We need to listen to Dennis's pitch, right? He's planning on getting all of us girls together and pitching to us. I think we need to actually take in what he's saying and see if he can benefit our games. I have to wonder, is Spicy actually serious about all of this or is she just stirring up some shit? Because we've seen her do it before. Um, it's just so weird because she she really does seem genuine sometimes. I don't think she's that good of an actress, but um, I think she's just kind of all over the place at this point. So Spicy also says we need to start pulling in Todd. He can be a number for us and we need to make sure that those guys don't snatch him up. Um, Wendy Will, thank you so much for the super chat. Wendy says, love the recaps of this wacky season. It really is off kilter. <laughs> like, there's a lot going on here. But thank you again so much. Um, later, we've got Spicy and Avery talking more about possibly targeting Anthony. And Spicy, of course, is like, I really want to do it. Like, I would do it myself, but I'm afraid of the alumni coming after me. So she's really hoping that either Avery or Bailey will do it or like Todd or somebody. Um, Avery keeps claiming she's not afraid to make the move. They talk about how Canada wants a good show. Yeah, the U.S. does too. So like, let's go. Um, Spicy feels like Anthony is not showing her the loyalty that she thought that he had for her. <coughs> she said some of the things he's doing this week is really like making her question if he's with her or not, uh, specifically with like, she didn't want Bailey to go, but he kind of like pushed ahead with that. So Spicy is telling Avery, I want to go to the final two with you. Do I actually believe that? I mean, I think she's keeping her options open. I think she would be fine with going with either Avery or Anthony. Uh, I think she just wants to get there, right? So she's keeping those options open. But later, uh, Spicy, Bailey, and Todd are chatting. And Spicy's like, I think we should keep Dennis. Okay. Todd is really on board with this already. <laughs> He's like, yeah, duh. What have I been saying? So Bailey asks, she's like, I need to know. Did Anthony want me to go this week before the POV? And Spicy says, yes, he did. Which is true. Thank you. Like, tell her she needs to hear this because she is so freaking obsessed with not crossing Anthony again. And she's doing everything that she can to please him. But she needs to hear it. He wanted her to go. So, Spicy, we'll see if that changes things for Bailey. <coughs> Spicy is asking Todd, who would you put up if you win HOH? And Todd's like, all right, I'm not naming any names because that gets people in trouble. See, he's learning. Um, but he says, I am going to tell you, I would not mess with any of the girls. So you do not need to worry about that. Okay. I like it, Todd. Let's go. Uh, so then Dennis comes in and Spicy's like, we're trying to figure out how to get these votes for you. You have three right here. You know, me, Todd, and Bailey. And Dennis is like, whoa, wait, what? He's pretty surprised to hear that Kayla and Avery are not already on board specifically Avery he thought that he would definitely have her Avery is the one who's really trying to make this not happen she does not want Dennis to stay ah! so and then we have Spicy and Anthony chatting alone and Spicy's like all right so what's our next move uh she says the girls are nervous meaning She's nervous, <laughs> but it's, it's the classic, oh, I'm asking for a friend, but like, it's really her. Uh, she says the girls are nervous because they don't know who the guys are targeting once Dennis goes. So Anthony's like, oh, well, we have lots of targets. Uh, he says, what we really have to do is figure out who would put up two people from the Hot Chocolate Alliance. And immediately he's like, Matt will target Tola before he goes after Hot Chocolate very quick to protect Matt. Very quick. <laughs> I mean, I do agree. I don't think that Matt is going to target Hot Chocolate right now because Hot Chocolate is in his director's alliance and he's pretty loyal to that. 
But seriously, Anthony is like all about keeping Matt as a shield. So Anthony brings up, he's pretty annoyed with Todd because he heard that Todd was part of conversations about backdooring him at some point. And Todd did not report that back to Anthony. So he's like, oh, I think that Todd, if he won HOH, he would be too scared to come after the guys. So he would put up two hot chocolate girls. No, I don't think he'd be too scared to come after the guys. I think Todd is going to do whatever the hell Todd wants to do. But Anthony's like, Elijah also, I think he would do that. He would put up two hot chocolate girls. It just looks here like Anthony is trying to set up for Todd and Elijah to go up on the block because he's threatened by Todd. He knows that Todd would probably have the guts to come after him. Yeah, we see what you're doing. So Spicy's like, all right, another thing, the girls are worried. Again, the girls, not me, but the girls, they're worried that Matt is pulling Lexus away. And Anthony's like, oh, it's ridiculous. Like, it's just Kayla and Avery spiraling. So Spicy claims she's just playing along with them when she talks to them about it. But like, we've seen she initiates a lot of these conversations about Lexus and Matt when she's talking to the girls. And she's quite passionate about it. But Spicy says, well, you don't have to worry. Like, you have me. I tell you everything. And she says, you also have Bailey more than the other girls. Like, Bailey is really loyal to you. So interesting that she's saying that Bailey is more loyal to Anthony than some of the other girls in the Hot Chocolate Alliance. Um, but she also brings up how the girls are basically wanting permission from Anthony for them to be able to go after Matt and Tola. So she's definitely spilling some more info from the combo that she had in the car with the girls, but she is not sharing that they were all talking about potentially targeting Anthony at some point. So it's interesting that she's leaving that part out. Um, she's not trying to blow things up completely, but she is kind of, you know, letting him know that the girls are thinking about taking out Matt and Tola and Anthony's like, Oh yeah. Like they're going to have to go at some point, blah, blah, blah. But you know, if this actually becomes a thing, like a possibility, he's going to be fighting against it. So Anthony also dur during this conversation seemed really annoyed with Kayla saying like, oh, Kayla, she's running around telling everyone she loves them. She's the spiral queen. Like she's so emotional. She was emotional with Donna on the block last week, going back and forth about that. She's going to be back and forth this week about Dennis. And Anthony is really not happy about that. Um, on the other hand, Spicy is really annoyed with Elijah because apparently Elijah tried to get her on slop this week. I think it was up to Vivek to decide who was going to be on slop. And Elijah was like pushing for Spicy. Yikes. That's a lot. <laughs> so now Spicy is paranoid. If Elijah wins HOH, he will target her, which I think is a possibility, potentially. Um, I don't know, but he seems pretty loyal to the Director's Alliance and she's a part of that. So maybe not yet, but at some point. But I think that's also contributing to why Spicy wants to keep Dennis over Elijah. All right, so then we have Bailey and Avery chatting, and we did not see the very beginning of this conversation, but apparently Bailey came into the room and was like, are we really making the right decision here, getting rid of Dennis this week? And Avery hated that. She felt like Bailey was coming in hot, and Avery does not want Dennis to stay. Boo, you suck. <laughs> I thought you wanted to give Canada good TV. Uh, she says, Dennis is a strong player. He wins competitions. And we don't need him in order to go after the guys. We can do that ourselves. Will you, though? I don't believe that. But, I mean, I guess they're going to run out of girls at some point. They're going to have to go after guys. But um, Avery says, I'm tired of us going in circles, you know, about these decisions. And Bailey says, well, we need to be sure that we're making the right move. We need, to, we need to talk through these things. She says, Dennis is a number for us. He wants to do the dirty work and he's a target in front of us. You know, it could be good for us to keep him buddy. Um, but Avery is like, well, I'm worried that I can't beat Dennis later on in the game. Oh my God. <laughs> You're not going to make it to later in the game. If you don't have somebody making these moves, who, <laughs> It's too much. Of course, Avery is the one that doesn't want to keep Dennis. Like, really? So, uh, Sean Davis, thank you so much for the super chat. Sean says, I 
just want Vivek to stay to see the delusion continue and watch him crumble. If these house guests were smart, they would get Anthony out. Yes. I mean, I feel like you got to go for the big dog. You got to take out Anthony first. I know Vivek is annoying, but Anthony is by far the bigger threat here. If you take him out, the game changes drastically. So I totally agree. And thank you again for the super chat. Um, so then Avery, after her conversation with Bailey, she runs to the bathroom and complains to Kayla about the back and forth. She's like, well, what if we don't get this shot at Dennis again? We have to take this now. We have to get him out of here. <laughs> Girl, no. All right. Um, let's talk about the other nominee this week, Elijah. He's back on the campaign trail. I'm going to spend about as much time talking about Elijah as he's spending in his campaign meetings he's still not giving much um he's basically just like dennis is a better competitor if i won H you know if i win hoh i was planning on targeting dennis so now i don't know who i'm gonna target um he says i wouldn't put up anybody who's already been put up is he lying though because like he was also mentioning last week that bailey would be a target for him but one of the combos we saw was with Bailey. So obviously he's not going to say that he's putting her up, but he does promise Bailey that she is not going to go up if he wins HOH. So who knows? I'm sure Elijah would just do whatever Anthony tells him to do because he is apparently very loyal to that director's alliance. But anyway, moving on. Uh, Dennis was also campaigning. He talked to Matthew. He talked to Tola. And there's a little interesting tidbit in his conversation with Tola, because Tola was like, well, if I win HOH, I'm going to make a move that everyone else is afraid to make. Uh oh, is this for real? Or is he just saying this? It's really hard to tell because I feel like we see maybe like five minutes of Tola <laughs> in each digital daily, if even. Today, we saw more than usual because Dennis was campaigning to him. But I honestly don't know what Tola would do if he won HOH. Does he mean he would put up Anthony and Spicy or like, one or the other. I don't know. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he went for spicy and not Anthony, but who knows? So, um, yeah, that's where we're at. Is there actually a chance that this flip will happen and that Dennis will stay? Who knows? Judging by the way the season has gone so far, I'm not going to get my hopes up. <laughs> I feel like it's probably not going to happen, but they're going to tease us and they're going to get our hopes up and then Probably not, but you never know. It could, you never know. So I want to thank you all so much for being here. <laughs> I know this week is a train wreck, but we're doing our best, right? So thank you all so much for watching. We have an episode tonight at seven. Um, I'm going to go make a custom crochet wrap for someone, which I'm very excited about. So I'm going to try and get that done before the episode, but we'll be back tonight with our recap. So we hope you join us for that. And until next time. Oh, wait. And again, Wendy Will and Sean Davis, thank you for your super chats. All right. So until later, much love. Bye, everybody. Bye.